Hello everybody, this is Charlie from Greenponic and welcome for a new video tutorial. Today we are going to talk about pump calibration uh, for you hydroponic automatic ECPH dozer. Pump calibration is very important because just like for a sensor, in order to be sure that when you want to make a dose, for example 10 milliliters, and that you execute that dose, you want to be sure that the pump will actually measure 10 milliliters. So for that, you will have to proceed with pump calibration. So to do a pump calibration, you will have to have your kit prepared and installed and turned on, and of course, paired with the application. Also, you will need a container with some water, I'd say half a liter to a liter is a good quantity to start. You will need also a measurement cap with some marking on the side showing 20 milliliter. This measurement cap is the cap that is provided with your sensor calibration solution. You will also need to take one of the reusable adhesive color that we've provided with the kit in order to attach several tubes together and make the whole process easier. So if like me you have your modules already installed you will take your sensor block from your hydroponic installation take it out and you will unclip the output tube after that you will take the four tubes that are the input tubes from each dosing pump you can attach those four tubes and immerge them in the water container now the goal is to uh, take away any air in the system so to do that you will need to activate each pump manually so for example here I'm activating pump 1 and you can see there is no water coming out so I will not be able to make a proper calibration so I will empty the cup again and again until I have only water coming out from the output tube when this is done I will do the same for pump 2 3 and 4 and it's only after that that we will go on the app and to proceed with the calibration when you are satisfied and you only have water coming out you can go in the app and you can see the view on the left side now let's open the green panic app and proceed with the each pump calibration so opened it, I connect to my kit. Okay, this is the water brain view. I will go in the water pump view. In here we'll see my pumps. So I got uh, one pH one and the others are for EC. So for the calibration, if this is a new product, it will tell you you have to calibrate your pump before using the product. Now this one has been already calibrated, so I will start again. So what you have to do is to click on the calibration icon on the right. Then, because we don't need the instruction, uh, because we are doing this video, we can click on skip. And during this part, you will have to be sure that your output tube is above the calibration cup. The four dosing pop inputs are in the water. When we press start, it will start the dosing pump selected in order to fill the cup. And you will click on end when you will reach the 20 millimeter mark. Generally, it takes around 12 seconds. Okay, that's it for us. So we can click store if we are happy with this calibration attempt. And you can click next and quit at the bottom of the page. Then you can proceed with another pump. Same thing, you can click skip. Be sure you're in the right position. Start and store and quit. You have to do that for the four dosing pumps. If the system asks you to do that for the mix pump, be sure that your output tube and input tube are in water uh, so the system works and it doesn't uh, spill water everywhere. From there, you are able to do a manual dosage. In order to verify the calibration, you can enter a value in milliliter, press enter, and that's the save apply button. And you can see it will show it's in process and when the dosage is finished, you will have a dosage confirmation at the top. When you finish the calibration with the app, you will be able to untie the four dosing tubes you tied before, install your nutrients bottles, put the tube in each nutrient bottles, and the last thing to do is to prime the tube. 
So to do that, you will get your output tube, put it in the water container and activate each pump one after the other until you see the liquid reach the dosing pump for each pump. It's important to keep the output tube above the water container so that you don't spill water everywhere. After that, just clip the output tube to the sensor holder and you're done. So that's it for this video. Next up, we'll go more in details into the application general use. Talk to you soon, bye.